was on the chest We saw the stars They aren't shining quite as bright like years apart Take your One year ago today, I bought my very first pair of roller skates and learned how to roller skate for the first time. A lot of things have changed since then. I'd like to think that I've improved a lot. So today I'm going to be doing a one year update and I'll show you guys how I've improved since I've put on my first pair of skates one year ago. Before I get into the actual skating, first I wanna show you the skates that I am currently using and wearing because they are different from the ones that I was wearing when I first started. These skates are from Moxie and these are the lollies and I really love these skates. They're definitely an upgrade from my beginner pair. I got them kind of in the same color as my first pair because actually these were the skates I wanted when I first started but they were unavailable at the time. And these skates come with gummy outdoor wheels but I've switched them out to be my fun day wheels which I think I showed in my learning to skate video. These are a little bit harder and they're smaller as well so they're a little bit easier to do different tricks and moves in them and I've really been loving these skates. They're different from the other pair that I had because the material especially around the ankle is a lot more flexible so I find that I'm able to do a lot of different moves than I that I wasn't able to do with my other pair my Impala skates they are a little bit stiffer but actually I didn't mind having that when I first started because the stiffer skates do provide more ankle support which is nice when you're first learning and honestly I fell a lot when I was first learning too so I really scuffed up those pair of skates so I'm not really mad that I had to wait a few months before I upgraded to these skates because the other ones I kind of just like broke and wore out and it was totally fine but I would definitely recommend these skates if you're looking for like an intermediate pair or if you know that you're going to love skating and you just want to jump in and invest in a little bit of a higher quality skate then this is a great one to get and I've really been loving it for the past nine or so months that I've had it so now that we have the actual skates out of the way I kind of just want to talk about the things that I think I have improved most on throughout the last year I'd say the biggest thing is my general level of comfort putting on skates and just skating around. When I first started, I would say for the first like month or two, every time I would put on my skates, I would kind of have to like recalibrate and get used to them for the first five minutes because it was something really new. I wasn't used to having wheels on my feet. And I feel like just for the first few minutes, whenever I put them on, I was really wobbly and unsure of myself. But I feel like these days, the second I put on my skates, it's not really any different from walking. I just feel comfortable. It's something that I'm really used to after having done it for a while and that's a really nice feeling it gives me a lot more confidence going into a skating session where I feel like I can try different things and I'm not just trying all the time not to fall on my face I would say for a lot of the first few months where I was learning I was concentrating a lot on 
just the bare basics. Going forwards, going backwards, and kind of switching between the two of those, which are called transitions. I'll be honest, it took me a really long time to learn how to really transition smoothly and confidently. It took me a long time before I was even able to do it at all, and it did take quite a bit of practice for me to now be comfortable with it, and now I do think I'm at the point where I can turn both from forwards to backwards and from backwards to forwards, and it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm practicing. I'll just practice my transitions and go back and forth and back and forth really quickly so that it almost feels like I am spinning. And I think that's one thing that I've improved a lot on. I think transitions are deceptively simple. It just seems so obvious that you could turn from forwards to backwards, but I do feel like it's something that is a lot harder than it looks. So if you're struggling with that, just keep practicing. I have a lot of people ask me how I have learned how to transition and you just have to keep doing it over and over and over again. It's also one of those things where I feel like you're not making any progress and it doesn't feel like you're getting any better and then one day it's just gonna click and all of a sudden you can do it. I'll be there in 15, baby, you know you got me, you got me. Wish you knew me at 19, back then I wasn't talking to anyone but me. Though when I think about it, that wouldn't even when you feel feels that you make that your mission, oh, you always are a nuisance. Everything before this, now I know it's practice. I don't have a game plan, I don't have a tactic, no. I just let it all happen. I like where we're going, yeah, I like where we're going, babe, I like where we're going, uh huh. I like. Another thing that I feel really comfortable with now, which is crazy to me because when I first started, it was so scary, is actually jumping on my skates, but only with both feet. So I can do a 180 pretty well. So I will sometimes as a transition, jump from going forwards to backwards and just hop both of my feet off the ground and I'll feel pretty comfortable doing that. Another move that I really enjoy doing is dips. That's something I'm still kind of practicing right now, but it's a really fun move. And for me, it's one of those things that kind of clicked a little bit more naturally because everyone will have those things that are a little bit easier for them and things that are more challenging for them. For me, that's one of those things that comes a little bit easier, so I really enjoy doing those. I also really like to do different kinds of like scissors and like crossing my legs over each other, kind of weaving them over and under each other while I'm skating forwards or backwards. I just think that's a really nice way to add style to your movement and to make it look like you are much more advanced than you are, so I do that a lot. So generally, I feel like I have gotten a lot smoother in a lot of my movements, but there are definitely still many, many things that I am working on and still need a lot of practice. One thing that is still kind of elusive to me are spins. It is something that I've kind of been practicing on and off over the last year. It's kind of hard to just drill spins because you do get really dizzy, so I'll usually just try and spin a couple of times per skate session and I'm still definitely not there yet, but recently I think I've unlocked like three spins in a row, so definitely progress considering where I first started. And it's just one of those things that I am going to have to continue to work on. I saw you inside, it was a cold tonight. You show like different intoxicants to make you feel alright. Now 
I'm sitting here Holding back tears and fears You're just my type As the night goes on I keep biting my tongue Saying I still haven't been To make this moment go wrong I'll drink another drink So I don't have to think Think anymore I want to believe that I would take you I also feel like it took me just this first year to be comfortable not falling and now I am kind of at the point where I want to try and make things actually look a little bit nicer and more graceful. Grace is not really something that comes naturally to me anyway, so it's a little bit hard for me. I usually just have like really awkward arms when I'm skating and I'm trying to just like make it look like I am a beautiful ballerina even though I am not. So yeah, I'm just trying to add a little bit more style so that I don't just look like an awkward penguin. And things that I am always constantly working on are things that help improve your balance. So hopping up on my toe wheels, then my heel wheels, and I'll just practice being on one foot and kind of trying to maneuver. These are things that I think are good no matter what level you're at, even if you are super beginner or super advanced. Balance is always going to help you when you're skating, so I always try and work on that anytime I am out practicing. Also just starting to work on doing some transitions that are just on one foot. So things like the waltz jump and three turns I think they're called. I'm pretty comfortable jumping on two feet but landing or turning on one foot is still really scary for me and I think it's one of those things where I have to just keep working up that comfort level and trying it out. So yeah that's one more thing that I am just currently working on right now. I've also been trying to learn more like tricks and moves, a lot of like jam skating and dance moves where you are in a kind of like a small space and you're working a lot on footwork. These moves look so easy when other people are doing them, but they are actually really complicated. They take a lot of control and precision. So these are things that I work on when I don't feel like going out to the park because I can do it even indoors or out on my patio. Sometimes I'll just throw a few sheets of plywood out there so I have like kind of a smooth surface and I'll try and work on some of these small space moves.
So yeah, that's kind of like an overview of my last year and my journey as I figure out this whole skating thing. I have been posting a lot of my progress on Instagram and will continue to do so. So if you want to follow my skate Instagram, I will leave it on the screen right here so you can follow me as I continue to learn new things and share them. And before I finish off this video, I just want to end with a few notes and I apologize in advance because a lot of what I'm about to say is pretty cliche and I will admit that but honestly they're all things that I kind of have to remind myself all the time so I thought it might be worth it to just throw it out there. The first thing is that progress is not linear. In the beginning for me it felt like I was progressing really quickly because there were certain moves that would be easier for me but then there came a point where I felt like I was not making any progress at all specifically when I was trying to learn like transitions I just felt like I wasn't improving at all and like I said before I don't know what it is but sometimes you have to do things like a hundred times and it feels like you're not making any progress and then one day you get back out there and all of a sudden you know how to do it and I don't really know how to explain why it doesn't like click until that moment but there are just times when you just have to get out there and keep trying and one day it might click for you. The second thing is that everybody learns at a different pace. It doesn't mean that you are better or worse than someone, you're just different and you're doing things at a different pace. Some people are more naturally athletic or have some kind of background. Maybe they were dancers or cheerleaders before. Maybe they do yoga and they're more flexible. But everyone has their strengths and weaknesses and I don't think it's fair to always be comparing ourselves to someone else even if they started at the same time as you or if they're the same age or body type it really doesn't matter. There are things that can affect how quickly you learn that are out of your control. For example, I follow a lot of skaters on Instagram who live in California. They have beautiful weather year round and I just don't. I live in a place where there are four seasons. It gets wicked hot in the summer and it's really cold in the summer and there's snow on the ground and I can't go out and skate. So when I see people out skating in the winter, sometimes I feel like I wish I could be out there and making progress as well, but it's totally okay. I like having all of the seasons, so it's okay for me if I just have to take a break sometimes of the year. And kind of going off of that, if you are struggling to find a place to skate, try not to make it into an excuse for yourself to not skate. I know I am definitely guilty of that. Sometimes in the winter, I tell myself, well, I can't go out because there's snow on the ground. But there are ways around it if you are creative. You can just clear out some space in your room. My house has really small rooms and my floors are also kind of crooked so it's kind of hard to skate but I'll just make it work and even though I can't like cruise around and have big spaces to flow in which is my favorite kind of skating, I can work on other skills, I can work on balancing and I can work on some jam skating moves so that's something that I've kind of been forcing myself to do whenever I kind of get down about not being able to go out. The third thing, and I think this is probably the most important thing, is it's okay if you are not great at skating. As long as you enjoy it, that's the only thing that counts. I feel like there is this idea these days that in order to enjoy doing something, you have to be good at it and it's not true. You can just do it because you enjoy learning, trying new things, or just getting out there and exercising. It's totally okay if you never get up to the point where other people are and you're not doing like crazy tricks. If that's not your goal and you feel like that is just not in the cards for you, you can still enjoy skating for what it is and that actually just goes for everything in life and it's one thing that I feel like I have really been reflecting on lately trying not to be the best at everything and to know that everything has value even if you are not good at it so that is my one year skate update I hope you guys enjoyed it I feel like I have learned so much over this past year and going over some of my old footage Man, it's crazy how much I've improved and you don't really know it until you kind of look back. So wherever you are in your stage of skating, make sure you take some footage because one day you're going to look back on that and be like, wow, I've gotten so much better. And it's a really good feeling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck with all of your skating adventures and I'll see you again in my next video. Nothing like a smile in the morning on your cheeks Cause baby in your
your absence, life is boring So I'll never leave Is a life in a perfect place where I wanna stay. 